Boker Tov, good morning. Today is Friday, August 11th, Erev Shabbat, Parshat Re'eh. Parshat Re'eh has, a, at the beginning of Hamishi, a mitzvah to go to Jerusalem. It's actually a mitzvah to go to the place, as Shevchar, uh, where Hashem um, will Yivchar the Shakein Shem Hashem, where he will choose to have his name dwell there. And so there's a mitzvah to go there. What are you supposed to do? Um, so we know there's a mitzvah to go to Jerusalem on the three pilgr- pilgrimage festivals. That's a mitzvah. Car- to eat the carbon Pesach in Jerusalem, a mitzvah. Okay? But here we have a separate discussion that on um, a certain a certain years, what's referred to as Maaser Shani, the second tithe. So you should take it. Ve'achalta. As we said, not only your your um, the tithe from your produce, but also your um, firstborn animals, and you should bring it to there and eat it there. And then the Torah says, "Okay, we understand something about I don't know what about about uh, just like you have to be in the base of Migdash for the festival. So apparently, also for this." But the Torah is specific. Lema'an tilmad, in order that you shall learn liyirat Adonai Elohecha kol hayamim, to fear God. You shall learn to fear God, your Lord, all the days. So it's very strange. It's very strange that you know what is it that about that is that that bringing your first fruits and eating them in Yerushalayim? What does it do with you know with uh, uh, learning to fear God? So the Ramban actually tells us that. It's just a, it's really a second piece of this that we should add in. Leman tilmadi rat Hashem, he says. Um, hold a second. V'tabi yeki yochai yichayel yaser kol tovat hazaracha sheyochal to hu atzmo v'nadat ne Hashem. Leman tilmadi rat Hashem ki hakohanim v'hashoftim haomdim sham lifnei Hashem. Because when you go there to Jerusalem, and specifically Lifnei Hashem, it means both to Jerusalem and you're there near in the, in the precincts of the Holy Temple. You'll be there where the Kohanim are, the priests are, and the Shoftim, those who are judges, there before God. They are the Morei HaTorah. They are the instructors in the Torah. They are the teachers of Torah. So you'll be there, and Yilamaduhu Yiratob, they will teach him about uh, this, what it means to be in awe of God. V'yorehu ha-Torah b'ha-mitzvot. And they will instruct him about the Torah and mitzvot. What is this Ramban saying to us? I think it's an important teaching. And we, who uh, who, who really do f- feel when we go to Israel uh, and have a chance to, uh, to to walk in the holy places or near the holy places, uh, some of them we can't, uh, we can't actually access, some of them are no longer standing. So there's something about just uh, you know the, the the awesomeness of being, and you can feel you know, an energy of uh, Eretz Yisrael, which we often speak about. But the Ramban says, I don't want you to hear. The Torah is not interested in that point. The Torah is interested in in, in in Yerushalayim as being a locus, a locus, a central place, in which um, important Torah teachers live. And when you go there, you should take advantage of that opportunity to learn from them, be inspired by them, uh, to uh, garner some, uh, to, to activate something in yourself, and uh, and become more knowledgeable and aware. And that's really a, quite an important uh, lesson to us. So when we go, God willing, you should all travel. You should travel to Israel often. Go. And go shopping there, and support the economy of Israel, and go uh, and go feel the kedusha of Eretz Israel, and be part of the uh, the energy around uh, the the the, uh, the complicated matters of what society should be and shouldn't be, and that's all really really significant. But also make sure that you find a way to uh, to study Torah there, study some Torah. Ain't Torah, Torah, Eretz Israel. There's no Torah like the Torah of Israel. And although I think we have some pretty good teachers uh, here in our environs, um, to be able to, uh, to to choose to go there and study Torah from from sp- from special teachers, and it can help you find them, you know, for uh, for your for, to guide you when you uh, when you when you make your next trip, to to find your way to uh, to to be able to to uh, learn from some important and uh, and powerful teachers throughout Israel. Um, that 
is the the uh, the most important experience that a person could have. Torah in Israel. Uh, so says the Ramban. You go. It's about the fruit. It's not really about the fruit. It's really about putting yourself in an orbit and in a context in which you can do some Torah study with people that will inspire you and educate you. May you find them there, and may you find them when you're not there. So when you're in, when you're uh, you know contemplating your next trip, gathering up those uh, fruits. Um, also study some Torah. Come study Torah with me, with Rabbi Nita Tara. Um, study Torah on the internet. There's so many other ways to access. There are all ways. There are all ways in which you can also uh, be drawn to understanding um, what it means to be in awe of God and, and to know God's word. You get more when you go to Israel, but you get a lot when you find it here too. I hope that you will continue to study with us, even as you can contemplate what the year ahead might indeed be. Wishing you all Shabbat Shalom.